All right, guys, welcome back to 2FC, a.k.a. Two Footballs Combined. Sorry I weren't about last week. Stag do weekend. And from what I heard, the game was fucking shit anyway. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't have to bore myself watching those 90 minutes. But fuck me, if last week was boring, this week was far, far from it. Palace win 5 nil at home to Leicester fucking City. Psh, shit, man. Like, this was just all us. The whole entire game. Like, just, it was just Palace. Just Palace, 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 Palace. Fucking fantastic. Hodgson, whatever he's done with his team, he, de he deserves a fucking statue outside that new stand we're getting. Like, seriously. Ridiculous what he's done with his team. The amount of injuries we've had this whole entire season. And this is basically touching wood. Stat kept us up. This game has kept us up. Touching wood. You never know what will happen in the next couple of games, next few games. But we are pretty much safe. And the, the way we fucking went about this game was just incredible. Like I said, it was just all us. And Leicester just didn't seem to kind of get out of fucking reverse, let alone first gear. It was just ridiculous for us. Fantastic. As a Leicester fan, I pissed is probably what I would be. And a little shout out to my mate Dan, who's a Leicester fan. So yeah, have that son. Eighth minute. Corner comes in from the left. And I, I Hamer. Ben Hamer, is that the goalkeeper's name? Sorry, I'm used to Schmeichel being in goal. Um, really poorly punches the ball out. Like, he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. It just kind of went up. And Tompkins got up above uh, Wes Morgan. He headed it down. It looked like it was 1-0 in the eighth. But Kelchi Iheanacho was on the line to clear the fucker away. Well done. For a striker, fantastic defending. 14th minute. Iheanacho again, fantastic ball to Vardy, who was played on side by Ward. Um, he takes a touch, kind of, mm, possibly could have taken it first time, but took a touch, had a shot, and Ward got back from keeping Vardy on side to get back on the line to clear it off the line. And that was pretty much Leicester's only chance of the game. But fucking... Brilliant clearance. Ward made the mistake and owned up to it by, not owned up to it, but made amends for saving it off the line. 17th minute, 1-0. Just fantastic passing. Some great one two, some just one-touch passing from Palace down the left-hand side. Johan, Loftus-Cheek, MacArthur, uh, who else was down there? Patrick Van Arnholt, Townsend, just like uh, everyone on that left-hand side, Luca was probably involved in it somewhere. Townsend passes it to MacArthur in about probably the central part of the box. He back heals it to Wilf. Wilf touches it once and opens his body up. Bang. 1-0. Really, really well-worked goal. Like, remember when, back in the day, everyone just go, played like Brazil. Played like Brazil. Played like Brazil. Obviously, Brazil... Recently, no. Back in the day, Brazil. That that bit of play, played like Brazil. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Um, yeah, fantastic goal. 28th minute, uh, Townsend fizzes a really low ball in. Uh, Wilf got lucky with it bouncing off of Morgan. It went literally and straight at him. He took a little pot shot. Quite a powerful shot to it, to be fair. But Hamer makes a decent save, goes out for corner. 38th minute, 2-0. Van Arnholt finds Wilfred Zaha, who then returned the favour to Jimmy Mack, who got the ball, took it with his left foot, did a 360 anti-clockwise and smashed it with his right foot back opposite away, uh, back opposite away, back opposite the other side of the goal. Fantastic turn. He knew where the goal was, even though he'd just done basically a 360 spin. Fucking lovely. 2-0. Uh, and that was half time. There was a couple of more, couple of things, but nothing really to write home about. I'd gone out to do some daddy duties, so I actually missed the first, what, 10 minutes of the first half. So I don't know if anything happened, 
But I got back as all Brighton was getting sent off. 100% red cards. Um, if it wasn't, there would be uproar. Uh, last man, there was no way of all Brighton catching Zaha, to be fair. He takes a bad touch. He tries to either pass it back to the goalkeeper or clear it or whatever. It kind of rolls up his shin. He knows he's fucked up. Pulls Wilf back. That's a red card. Like, no one else is around. You you fucked up. You fucked up massively. He it, Yeah, 100% red cards. And I don't think any Leicester fan would complain about it. I don't think. Well, you never know. There's always that one in a fan base. Um... Yeah, that was the 56th minute. And then the 70th, Van Arnholt passes a lovely ball to um, Jimmy Mack, who instead of trying to cut it back towards Co uh, Kabaya and Van Arnholt, he tries to go for glory. He tries dinking the keeper. It goes wide. But it was a nice attempt. It would have been great if he'd have looked right a little bit. A little tap to the right, and Van Arnholt was there for the, basically the one to. Um, and that would have been 3-0 there and then. But it was, for Jimmy Mack to actually be trying that, fantastic. 81st minute, 3-0. The ball was cleared up the line, uh, cleared up the pitch, sorry. Straight to Mamadou, fucking Sacco. He takes the ball down, he kind of has a look and he thinks, I'll go on a little bit of a run, hopefully someone will get free. As soon as he goes, like two, three steps, everyone's going, go on then. Fucking go! Just have a run. Go on, Sacco. We're 2 0 up. Just 3 uh, 0 up. Just go have a run, uh, 2 0 up. Just go have a run. And he gets about uh, 10 yards into Leicester's half. Fat fucking finds a perfect ball to who the fuck was it? Straight pass. Uh, great pass, sorry, to Loftus Cheek, who one on one with a keeper. Bit of a shimmy. Comes to the right. Taps it in. And the emotion on his face when he scored, he should be wearing this shirt next year. Like, you could see it in his face that he's been wanting this fucking goal for a long, long time. And it's come, and it, it couldn't have come at a better time. If he, the, the way he's been playing since he's come back from the injury, he's starting to get that much better, that much better, that much better, that much better. That I reckon he can still get that call up for England. Genuinely, I think he can still get that call up as long as he keeps playing. And Southgate was here uh, at Sellers today, so he knows who he was looking at. And I don't think it was many of the Leicester players, especially after that performance. Maybe other than Vardy. We'll say that. 83rd minute, so two minutes later, we go 4 0 up. Wilf to Schlup, who was literally on the pitch a minute, 30 seconds, a minute, if that, comes on. And really good pass from Wilf to Schlup. Schlup chases after this ball, very, very close to scoring against his old club. Hamer comes out, makes him, he makes himself big, kind of bounces off of him. And it perfect, perfect positioning for Van Harnholt to come in on his right foot and just beautiful, low, curling ball. No one is stop, stopping that. Got no Dutch, but sorry. Um, just fucking lovely ball for a left footed player fantastic right footed shot end of and then the 88th minute 5-0 and the end of the game Benteke on the pitch for a minute two minutes if that didn't really have the ball a lot and he gets the ball runs in the box and Harry Maguire takes him out penalty fantastic Absolutely amazing. Luca takes the ball, puts it on the spot, turns around and goes, go on, Benteke, you have it, son. Gives him a little kiss, a little bit of a confidence boost, saying, go on, you ain't fucking this up. You could see it, like, as soon as he took that penalty and the first person to be on his back after scoring it was Luca. Luca, fucking big man. Like, seriously, like, especially after the last time when Benteke was on a pitch and took the ball off of him. That's a big man to do something like that and just shows how much Luca likes this club, loves this club. I, I love it. Benteke smashes it down the middle, slips over and everything and didn't even celebrate because he knows how shit his season has been. But just, what can you say? We've This is the highest Premier League win we've ever had. 
5-0 against champions that were fucking, or a team, they're not the same team, but a team two years ago were lifting the title. You know what I mean? Like, it was a fantastic result. It was a fantastic game on a Palace point of view. Lovely. Bring on Stoke next week. Seriously, bring on Stoke next week because they may have got a draw at Anfield today, but if we play like we did today, they've got no fucking chance. Um, <clears throat> that's it. Bring on fucking Stoke, which is on TV on Saturday morning afternoon. We're the early kickoff. We're on TV, away in Stoke. Can we do it on a cold, rainy Saturday afternoon in Stoke? Yeah, if we play like today, fuck yeah. As always, guys, please like, share and subscribe if you are new. Subscribe. I've, I've Since I've come back, I've earned myself like six, seven new subscribers. And this is my second video back. I still need to explain why I was off for so long. I will do it when I've got the fucking time. <laughs> I promise you I'll do it. It'll be within the next couple of weeks, I promise. Um, thank you for your support. Uh, since I've been coming back, it's fantastic. As always, guys, come on, Palace. Peace.